Hello everyone, Film Virgin Soundtracks here, and today is gonna be a different video. Um, ever since I got my channel back, uh, I wanted to thank you guys for your support, and ever since I reached 3000 subscribers, I thought why not make a video in which I show you how I make my edits. So, in this scenario here, we have Doctor Strange the Movie 2016, and uh, the complete soundtrack right there on the left side and I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you how we are going to extract audio from the movie and how I do my edits so for this to work you will need to have the movie in a AC3 or AAC audio type file and in 6 channels or 5.1 in order to extract the audio, we'll be using the AC Soft Total Video Converter, link in the description below, and we will drag the movie into the program, and then uh, convert it into an audio file. And in this case, we will change from MP3 to point flag. And then we will go to settings, channels, and make sure the channels are 5.1 channels. So you will get six channels. We will leave the same sample rate and audio bit rate. We will check the uh, output destination and then press convert. But since I already got the uh, audio extracted there, I'm going to stop the process and delete the file and as you can see I already have some uh, backups from my uh, Giacchino score the Batman so we'll, the next thing we'll, we'll do is we are gonna close the program and open the uh, flag file with SoundForge Pro this is an audio editing program which I uh, commonly use edit my tracks. Link in the description. Uh, next we're going to open the uh, complete soundtrack uh, folder where we have all the tracks and we will select only the audio tracks from the flag file but just to make sure that you understand that these are the tracks with music and sound effects I'm gonna close the window and import the flag file again and just demonstrate that what you will hear in the other two uh, tracks is in fact either voices like this along with sound effects of course uh, more obviously is what comes next as you can hear, there's very little music. You can barely hear any music. And it only plays in the left ear. Or the left speaker. Depending on how you listen. Now you'll hear... This tiny beat. Or this bigger beat. That's because we are on the sound effects only channel. So as you can see, the two above and the two below are the uh, audio tracks. Those that contain mostly the music, sometimes mixed with sound effects. That's why it's so hard to get rid of the sound effects because they are mixed in with the music channels. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is check this first track which in the case of uh, Doctor Strange movie is Marvel Fanfare composed by Michael Giacchino and as you can hear there is no uh, sound effects that is due to the fact that this first track of the movie is an intro and it doesn't play in any other scene with character dialogue or any sound effects so it is clear the only difference is that in this particular case, this track that 
it being extracted from the movie it has lower quality than the track currently playing and you may not hear that exactly but the quality is a lot better uh, due to the fact that it's an original track and it's not extracted from the movie so what i'm doing right now is just checking to see if the length of both tracks is the same which in this case it is the same so we have 33 seconds above and 33 seconds below so they're both the same length which probably means they're both identical both from uh, timestamp and from aspect we will uh, stop the uh, audio and then we will minimize the track or close it and then move on to the first track of the movie which is the first that is a bit different from the uh, soundtrack version so here we have the full soundtrack the latest edition which was released before uh, multiverse of madness and you can hear the track that begins right now and we already see the uh, similarities between the uh, movie tracks and the uh, track from the soundtrack from the complete soundtrack we can already hear where the, the track begins in the movie and now we are checking to see where we are so that's the first part yeah those are the that's, that's the first part of the, the track both in the movie and in the, the track from the complete soundtrack and this is the end now all we're going to do is check to see if the length is identical as we did with the first track so in this uh, instance after we made sure that the tracks are the same length we will do a quick check to see if uh, if the next track begins before this track ends so in this case it is you can hear that's the ancient sorcerer's secret beginning as as the uh, previous track is about to end so what we're gonna do is we're gonna extract all only this track and all the four uh, channels and we're gonna mix them together so we're gonna drag the first one and paste the second one and then close the bigger one you can hear now those four channels mix them together into a two channel track we're just checking to see if we if uh, the movie track goes parallel to the uh, soundtrack track or better said if they're fully synchronized and in this case we do see that the two tracks are indeed identical up until this point the next thing we'll do is we're checking the end and here you can see that the end is a bit different so we're gonna search for um, a similar uh, marker in both tracks and as you can both see and hear the difference is, is like three seconds between the two just checking to see if the uh, marker is set on almost the exact uh, point in both tracks so now we'll make sure we select just as much from this track before the marker we will extract this part and then just selecting this small part and uh, well actually we're gonna do a double fade in not this a drastic fade in because this sounds way too 
way too quiet at the beginning so we'll go to process fade in and then repeat the process leave it there then we will search for uh, another 1.89 seconds starting here it really doesn't need to be as long as long as you get the uh, marker or the distance between the two markers like the one I made right now and the one from the small track I extracted as long as we get that distance right it really doesn't matter if this small part at the end is 1.89 so what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix these two tracks together so as you can see it's it sounds pretty okay then we're gonna do another checkup to make sure that the two tracks sound as similar as possible and that's been pretty much it with part one of this video in that we modify a track from the complete soundtrack based on how that track looks in or sounds in in, in part two of this video we are gonna see how we can extract a full track or a part of a track and either make another track that wasn't released in the official soundtrack or paste that extracted part to an existing track from the original soundtrack. So next thing we're gonna do is we have this setup here. As you can hear we have the track beginning with this uh, this violins part but it doesn't look like the one in the movie so we're just gonna check to see uh, if any of the tracks that come before him in the movie have that part or not here we are with the, um, the track that comes before obviously this end part is not in the movie as you can hear it's it, it stops right at the at that final part without that last spike so obviously this part from the uh, movie which you will hear right away is not in any of the tracks in the complete soundtrack so what we're gonna do is we're gonna check the, um, the track with uh, these four channels from the movie world and see which of these two blue or red couple of channels sounds better in in the way that has less sound effects as you can hear there are steps there's background noise there's also strange yelling and right now that this sounds clearer you can actually hear the music the beats and here is the uh, the beep from the uh, machine that checks the uh, heart rate. In this case, this part of the movie deals with the uh, ancient ones, death. So we're just gonna extract this part because obviously that other part colored in blue sounds a lot worse than this uh, red colored part and you will hear it in a moment as you can hear sound effects in the left then on the right very much sound effects uh, a lot of strange talking a lot of background noise a lot of background voices and it doesn't stop like the one with the red colored channels what we're gonna do is search for the only beats that um, do not have or at least have the less sound effects um, here I obviously tried to boost the track uh, for it to be easier to find the parts that have less sound effects but obviously I had to redo all those changes so what we are trying to do now 
is recreate the entire part with all the beads from before using only those parts. So we have found our first clear beat without any sound effect. We found a part before it and we'll end it at the uh, next beat. So after we've selected we are just gonna uh, extract it as a separate audio. It's about two seconds long difference between the, the two beats. So we have to make sure that that state stays constant between these uh, multiple beats that we're about to recreate. So we have a, a scenario here where we have um, 700 milliseconds before the uh, beginning of the first beat and we are now counting how many beats we have before the last one from which the uh, violins fade into the track. So we're gonna go and um, check the uh, difference there before the first beat. We're gonna make a mark there too. Just checking to see to get the exact difference. That's about it. So we'll make sure that those two selections are equal because we're gonna need one of them later. Right here we have 0 0.708. We're gonna change how that fades in. We're then gonna change uh, the way the track fades out by selecting another 708 milliseconds. And we're gonna fade it this time, we're gonna fade it slowly out. And then we're gonna take the whole track, we're gonna copy and then paste it, or better said, mix it over itself at that specific marker. So we're just gonna repeat the process until we have 8 beats. And now we have the uh, full 8 beats before uh, the next uh, beat, which uh, starts the uh, violins. So what we're going to do is we're going to fade in the part before and then paste it here. As you can hear, we've managed to get rid of most of the sound effects. The only annoying thing is that we've used um, the same beat. And as you can hear, it sounds pretty similar and somewhat annoying, but with another program called Adobe Audition, we could clear those sound effects and have the track sound a bit cleaner. So here is where the um, violins pick up you can also hear them in the original track. And soon after we, we do this check, we'll find out that we actually have more from this track than we originally thought. So, just listen. Now you see we have the uh, long notes from the violins. So that means we the tr this track begins somewhere at the uh, ninth beat from this track. So we're we're just gonna check where that beat is. Here it is, and we're just gonna. Um, fade out from there while fading in from the uh, normal track, from the original track. does sound a bit different in the way that uh, the notes are different. The first 
is a bit shorter than the ones in the movie so we'll make sure that uh, we get the same length that will be done through some extensive testing by fading in and uh, clicking preview first and then listening and then uh, modifying the uh, point at which we fade in with the uh, original track so here we, we've copied the original track we faded out the uh, film track and then we're gonna just check to see if everything matches so you, you can hear you can hear a double um, change in the violins that means the tracks aren't synced we now uh, realize that and we are gonna do the proper adjustments so we're gonna just move the uh, mix point a bit to the right something like one second and just check again you can still hear there's a bit of a double uh, violins they're not changing the note at the same time still there's a bit That still sounds like a double change of the violins, so we're going to go one further. That sounds about the best we can hope for. And we're going to just press OK, and they're going to mix in, and this is a full track remade using a part which was extracted from the movie and a part from the original soundtrack you can see the track is identical we're just gonna check the uh, the part after to make sure it's the same length and it plays the same now i know there are a lot of different tools to edit audio tracks and extract an audio from a movie like Audacity or Adobe Audition uh, I'm just using SoundForge because I I'm kind of used to it so that's what I wanted to do to just show you how I make my edits it's not the most professional way it's not the best way it certainly is the better way for me if you can find other programs and other ways to do it that's just fine but the principle remains the same you have to have a movie with the uh, audio in six channels and you need to extract those four channels and then just play with editing them extracting parts of them and editing the available soundtrack that you have and that's how I do my edits before I go I would like to congratulate my fellow youtuber who also posts movie soundtracks official movie soundtrack for his fourth year anniversary congratulations man and keep up the good work so thank you all for watching and Expect the uh, Doctor Strange uh, tracks to be released soon. Until then, stay safe. God bless.